What's up guys, this is Burrs. Alright, so uh, this video is going to be about uh, something I saw on CNN. And it was, uh, Mayor Bloomberg was on there talking about, uh, he put out a, a PSA in regards to the gun show loophole and the Al-Qaeda supposed operative Adam Perlman, or Adam Gadan is his uh, Muslim name. And uh, you all know I made a video about that already where he said that it was easy to get guns and that Al-Qaeda lone wolf should take advantage of this and and whatever because it's so easy and you get automatic rifles and, and all that the false information. But anyway, so they mentioned that 40% of gun sales go through the gun show loophole on this program. Now, um, they either said that or they said 40% of criminals get their guns through the gun show loophole. One or the other. Either way, um, I had to go back to my documentation in which I uh, made my gun control video, if you remember, and I looked up government statistics, and this is from the Bureau of Justice Statistics, which did a, uh, uh, a study, and it found that only 0.8% of prison inmates reported acquiring firearms for their crimes at a gun show period, just a gun show period. Um, as a 2001 study that examined um, 1997 uh, survey, uh, of 18,000 or more than 18,000 federal and state prison inmates in 1,400 prisons and uh, 127 federal prisons. So I just like to ask Mayor Bloomberg and CNN, um, why are they only using one set of statistics, and why, when they were talking to Mayor Bloomberg, did they not challenge him on anything? Um, they acted like everything that was said was just completely and utter truth and, and, and correctness, when in reality there's actually a federal government um, bureau that does statistics that has um, contrary data. It, it's it's uh, opposed to uh, what he was saying. Um, so here's, uh, I'll give you that information and um, let me show you a little bit of that video here. Someone who's fought against this for years is New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Good to see you this morning. Yeah. Uh, this gun show loophole, an estimated 40% of U.S. gun purchases are sold without background checks because of this, quote, private sale or gun show loophole. Why has that not been able to be closed after all of these years? Congress is just unwilling to face the fact that the Second Amendment doesn't protect terrorists. I don't think anybody thinks that al-Qaeda was in the minds of the founding fathers. Right. You have a right to buy guns, protected in the Constitution. Every state has the right to set their own laws. They do that. But the federal government passed a law saying you can't buy a gun if you are a minor, if you have psychiatric problems, or if you have a criminal record. Then they didn't fund the uh, ATF so that there's really no enforcement of it. And they have this gun show loophole where if you say I'm a casual seller, you don't have to do the background check that's required to meet the first set of requirements that I just talked about. And so people go to gun shows and just buy guns, and the sellers go to gun shows, and they're not casual sellers. They can have a few hundred guns there to sell. I happens to be an extreme Muslim who is out there advocating people to buy guns and kill Americans, and he says you can just do it right in America, just walk up to a gun So the show. NRA response to that spot is that he is uh, recommending to people who are not part of an organized uh, movement, really lone wolves, to go buy guns. Those lone wolves who might go to a gun show and buy that gun and commit a terrorist attack wouldn't be on a watch list anyway. People who advocate for gun rights say we have a lot of rules, we have a lot of laws on the books already, they're not enforced. And so for well, a person not true who in New York wants City. to be We're able to, have a record well you guys have a wonderful, I mean you guys have okay, a really, this city has a great, and to, have a record well you guys have a wonderful, I mean you guys have okay, a really, this city has a great, well you guys have a wonderful, I mean you guys have a really, this city has a great, So as you can see there, they were basically saying um, that everything he was saying was right. So my question is, why don't they challenge him on anything when there's probably about four or five different sets of data out there in regards to this, and they all vary from very small, which I just showed you, to around 30%. I don't know where the 40% number came from. Um, I tried to look for it, and I couldn't find it. 
Um, and they didn't really, they didn't say any references when they mentioned it on air, so I couldn't look it up. Um, so that's that. And uh, yet again, you have people that are uh, trying to uh, impose gun control. And I found it funny that they said that New York has done such a great job with um, regulating their guns when there's all kinds of crime in New York City. But uh, anyway, so uh, that's that. Just some information for you guys. Till next time. Later.